Hello, hello, and hello to all of my Capricorns. This is Queen Amun-Ra coming to you with your general reading. Capricorns, let's do it. I'm talking to you if you have Capricorn anywhere in your chart. Even if you're on the cusp of Aquarius or Sagittarius or your MC or IC is Capricorn, I am talking to you. This reading is for the 26th of July through the 26th of August. If you're watching this video on 7-25-2023, that 777 portal is open. So Source is bringing a lot of things to the forefront and to the focus. So it's going to feel like you have lightning insights. Not only that, 725 is the first quarter moon phase. Uh, so you're feeling the effects of the moon in Libra. Remember, Libra is the peaceful warrior. So you're really fighting for your peace, right? So you're protecting your peace at all costs. You're not getting into any unnecessary arguments with people. You're not just getting into any of that. You're like, I'm, I'm trying to live a life of peace and clarity, clarity of thought, right? So moving forward, you're allowing this moon in Scorpio, this moon in Scorpio to help you, you know, on your journey. I'll drop the questions below for every sign for the moon in Scorpio to help you uh, uh, try to navigate. So you already have the uh, questions for the moon in Libra. Let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say. The energy has already been cleared. Pluto is retrograde in Capricorn and Aquarius. Saturn is retrograde in Pisces. Venus is retrograde in Leo. And Neptune is retrograde in Pisces. So retrograde means by now that we know that the planets don't move backwards and they don't move at a slower pace. It gives us an opportunity, though, to slow down. Pluto is a uh, is an emotional roller coaster planet. Like you don't really know how to feel as you're going through this metamorphosis. You're not only dealing with past um, family, childhood, and ancestral traumas. You could be dealing with some traumatic situations right now where you're trying to transform. You're trying to end some, close out some cycles, but start new cycles, right? And here we have the Nine of Cups. I'm saying wish fulfillment, wish fulfillment, wish fulfillment, wish fulfillment. In the last reading, I mentioned where someone is or somebody could be having a deal or something on the table or whatever, and someone commented below, there is no deal. <laughs> so thank you for the person who reached out to me to let me know that they had a very lucrative deal that they just signed on the table. So congratulations to you. Here we have the wisdom card. Somebody is definitely learning, gaining wisdom. Like I said, some kind of partnership in business and or in love is coming across somebody's path. And it's going to, like I said, everything that you wished for. So here we have the wheel of the year. This is still somebody's year. Somebody is out here getting ready to do big, big, big things. So it's all starting to come together and make sense in how the power of words, speaking things into existence and not saying what is not working out for you. Like somebody has somebody has manifested a, a partnership that's crystal clear. It's legit, you know, where you don't feel rushed to do anything. They're saying, hey, you can send your paperwork to your attorney. We have our legal team, that kind of thing. Congratulations to you. Here we have the three of wands. I see expansion all around you. A lot of energies are going to want to start working with you and being connected to you. But you're wiser now. But somebody had to go through that transformation period of learning how to become wiser when it comes to um, that focusing on speaking to your highest selves. And that's why I always talk about find the things about this, yourself that you absolutely love. Because when you are, when people want to connect with you, whether it's in business or love, you already know what you bring to the table. So you're not settling and you're not compromising. You're not like, so not unreasonable compromises where a person wants you to you know, do all the work while they're just sitting back in a receiving mode, receiving everything. So here we have the three of swords. I do see, you know, um, there will be some energies that are disappointed that you're moving on from the energy, but you, the whole purpose, there's a difference between disappointment and people trying to cut into your money, cut into your happiness, cut into your ideas, you know, those kind of things. Disappointment can just be disappointing. Like, I'm happy to see you go. You know, I'm happy to see you move on. So somebody is definitely moving from one phase of their lives into the next. And so, again, 
goodbyes are never it never feels comfortable to say goodbye but again it's all on how you receive how you release energy so again congratulations you know to each one of you all who are you know in your have found a twin flame you may be a little nervous if you're in twin flame energy if you just started dating somebody and you feel like okay this is this is nice like but make sure you close out those old cycles so that new person doesn't have to pay for what old cycles did, right? Or new business deals don't have to pay for what the, oh, the old ones that didn't come, you know, they the ones that fell through the cracks. So again, congratulations to somebody. You definitely came through wiser. And you all are a very wise sign anyway. So congratulations to you all. We also have the sun card. We have the judgment card. We have the hangman, the will card, the death rebirth card, and high priestess. So somebody is definitely in and somebody's definitely on the other side of something. You're at a higher frequency. Let me show you these. I got a lot of cars here. So we have um, this card right here is Pluto. It's retrograde, right? So somebody is definitely going to feel like you are leaving them behind and that you are judging them. But you got to stay laser focused, right? If people want access to your universe, they absolutely are under your judgment because you are the king or queen of your universe, right? God is the creator, you're the co-creator. And so God gave you dominion over everything in the earth except other human beings. So there are gonna be some other people that you're leaving behind. And um, so Source is just saying, be patient with yourself. You're not delusional, you're not going crazy um, of, about what you're leaving behind. This is your year. And there's gonna be some people that's gonna be saying some things, you know, that's gonna feel some kind of way they don't think you're harshly judging them, but it's not. You're not. Here we have high priestess energy. Stay connected to people who really encourage you to listen to your intuition. Because again, and you, you are, somebody is also already highly intuitive. This card came out twice. Again, all the time and effort that you felt trying to figure things out, Capricorn, everything is coming full circle for you, both in your personal and your professional life. That's what this card is here for right here. So you just, like I said, hang in there, you know, with yourselves, hang in there, you know, with yourself. We also have the sun card, just stay in your light and God will show you everybody's true intentions. So like I said, people, there's a difference between people being disappointed because they sad to see you leave, but they're also happy for you, right? There's a difference. And then you have the people who are sad to see you leave to a point where they want to do everything to stop your growth pull you backwards, try to make you feel guilty about you moving on and progressing. Those are the people you want to detach from and close out the cycle sooner than later. All right, here we have the hangman. We also have the eight of wands. We have the two of wands, the emperor card, the three of cups, and also the four of wands. So I do see somebody celebrating something. Not only do I see you feeling like you have a huge weight you know, off of your shoulders moving forward. But I also see things, a quick progression, things happening for you very, very fast, Capricorn. So like I said before, somebody is in a, somebody is like, I put all this hard work in, becoming wiser, learning more about myself, navigating through all of these things that I couldn't understand the signs. I needed to physically see things. But somebody's starting to understand how God gets messages to you individually like you could it could be five capricorns sitting around a table and all of you all could receive messages totally different one person may need to see it written in the sky through a plain smoke another person may get the message that they have in dreams and downloads and it looks like somebody is getting messages that way somebody could just have a feeling about things and it comes across right so again here we have the emperor card and so what, one of the things that you're staying af as far away from is energies who um, have a God complex. And that God complex is people who feel like they can control you, people who bully you, people who um, feel like they're using something over you to control you, right? So Source is saying as you're going through, so there could be, there could be, um, let me we come back to that in just a second. I thought I saw this card. Yeah, I did see this card twice. So definitely some energies um, from your past you're leaving behind. It could be two energies in particular. Like I said, you're moving forward optimistically, creating space for this new life for yourself, um, both in your personal and your professional life. And so sources saying, hang in there with yourself. You're still learning. 
it's always an option to go to God first, right? I say this in every reading, pull your full birth chart so that you don't have to wait for 15 different signs before you go, oh, okay, God, I know what you want me to do. I know what you want me to do, right? Um, here we have the Three of Cups and also the Two of Wands. Three of Cups and Two of Wands. Um, so the so staying in the posture of gratitude for you is going to be very, very helpful. Just always being grateful to God, not finding any complaints in whatever the blessing God gives you. Like, oh God, you know, I wanted that, but it wasn't exactly what I wanted, God. Mm -mm. Remove all of that because you need complete and total clarity for where I see somebody going. Like I said, wish fulfillment, make the wish good. Dream very big, not just some limited dream. I'll just, no, just want a little bit, just a little bit. I don't want to ask for too much. Source is saying dream big because that's what Source is trying to do is expand someone's vision. See how this, this is like this person is looking out over expansion. Source is, I see somebody traveling across water. I see somebody on cruises. I see somebody just living their life, like literally living their best lives. So stay in a posture of gratitude. Congratulations in advance, like I said before. And congratulations to the person who reached out to me. So you all deserve it. You all deserve it. So let's keep it moving forward, Capricorns. Let's keep it moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward. So that's what a celebration. Let's see the celebration cake is. That's what a celebration. Somebody be celebrating something in their personal and in their professional life. So kudos and congratulations to you. Kudos and congratulations to you. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Uh, do, 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 do. All righty. All righty, all righty, all righty, all righty, all righty. This is very nice. We also have the Seven of Wands. We have the Strength card. We also have the um, Ace of Cups, the Hierophant card, the Four of Cups, and then also the Page of Swords. All righty. So somebody is definitely learning how to... Um, Somebody is definitely learning how to, remember we have Venus and Leo, right? So it's, um, somebody is learning how to live their absolute best life unapologetically. Leo is ruled by the sun and Leo is no, no stranger to shine just because of the, 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 they rule by the sun, right? And you all know I speak very highly of all zodiac signs, right? So when the when Venus is in Leo, this means that you you want to live a life of luxury and there's nothing wrong with that, right? And then of course you got Venus here, right? And this is this I'm sorry, this is Taurus, but Taurus is ruled by Venus and this is Leo. And and Venus is in the zodiac sign Leo. So somebody's getting ready to live a life of luxury. Like really, really live a life of luxury. And so you don't have to sit around and ruminate over things. All you need to do is stay hydrated. It sounds simple, but it actually works. Staying hydrated means, you know, you know, the moon is connected to our emotions, right? So some people are emotional eaters, emotional drinkers. It, you know, it causes you to go back into emotional, emotionally toxic relationships because you're looking for something to, to feed your spirit. The source is saying to you, stay hydrated with water. So as things are being flushed out of your system, you can tell what types of energies are around you. Because if you're living a life of luxury and you're celebrating a lot of things and you have the whole world in front of you and there's expansion all around you, guess what else is around you? Temptations. Be very careful. So here we have the Four of Cups. Very nice. So I do see you being able to defend your decision to move on from something without coming across as defensive at all. Not at all. And keep in mind, too, when we're moving from one phase of our lives to the next and you are moving forward, you're going to to land on the bright side of anything. You're going to have to sacrifice fear of the unknown and say, OK, I'm speaking things into existence. This is operating in faith. Right. So this is knowing faith is a substance of things not seen. Right. And so this is where I can't see it and I, I can't physically see it, but I can see it in my spiritual vision. Right. So there could be some tears of some things that you're leaving behind from somebody or you or whoever is, you know, some energies. But sources saying protect your water. You know, or it could be, like I said, happy tears moving forward. Tears are not a sign of weakness at all. It's just release. And here we have the page of swords. 
the anxiety won't last for long. Again, somebody, like I said, has become a lot wiser moving forward. But uh, things are about to speed up for somebody, for a couple of somebody's, whether it's in love or whether it's in... Um, but somebody could have a you could somebody have could have their twin flame coming across their path and moving beyond something else. So, congratulations, congratulations, very nice. Here we have seven of wands again, and the nine of swords, the queen of wands. We have the queen of cups, the king of coins, and also the five of swords. All right, so the king of coins here lets me know that somebody is moving towards an enormous amount of wealth you know, in your cards. And so wealth is like, and there's a lot of respect. There are people that highly, highly respect you. They're looking at you. You'd be surprised at how people still see money as just coins and paper, right? But it's your charisma. It's your happiness. It's a uh, motivational attitude that people are really, really attracted to. That's what people are really, really attracted to. So, you know, when we're talking about going into partnerships for business, everybody is trying to make money and it's about your relationships with people. So that's what you're learning wisdom. So nothing is by coincidence. So I think I mentioned a book in my last reading for you all. That book is an excellent book, you know, to read as is there a lot of excellent books to read on your journey to become wiser and how things work here on earth to create a better life for yourself. And so see these two swords right here. Somebody is still holding on to something somebody said or did that was very hurtful, you know, for you. And so think about it, like really think about it. If you're not unsure, if you're not, uh, you know, sure about it, ask God, God, is there anything that I'm holding on to any, any blockages whatsoever? Does somebody say you were never going to make it, that you weren't smart enough, handsome enough, whatever the case may be. If you can't monetize it through a song or through a book or something like that, you're still holding on to it. So ask God, does somebody say you weren't smart enough or that you'd never be anything? Like something that somebody said to you that uh, somebody is still holding on to and Source wants you to release it. See these right here, you already released these, but somebody is still looking back, right? Again, unless you're using it to fuel your success, not to give homage to your haters, <laughs> but you're saying, Hey, despite, you know, people saying that I would never do X, Y, and Z sources, like, unless you're using it to monetize, to make money from it, leave it, release it so that you can see all the wealth that's trying to come in. If you're looking back at this, you can't see this. If you're looking back at what people said, the people that were the naysayers, doubters, didn't believe in you, all of that, then this is already predestined because the longer you keep looking back at all of that, the only reason you should be looking back is to see how far you've come. See this person right here with one sword in their hand. This person got two swords in their hand. This one sword right here for you is like, you know what? I, my power lies from within. So I don't have to come across as a person who is short tempered, cutting people off. None of that. My power comes from within. So that's why I'm saying your anxiety is not going to last for long. Source is trying to speed up things for somebody. So again, congratulations. Here we have the Queen of Wands. I see somebody again feeling happy, charismatic, and free. being Feeling very compassionate towards whatever it is that you're leaving behind. But it's nothing like finally you've been working so hard to get to your purpose and you're in it. And somebody's going to always feel like they lost. Because now that you found your light and you've been working so hard to get to where you are. But you can wake up from the nightmare at any time. At any time, it's all about how you close cycles. Because remember, we're still talking about relationships, whether they're family relationships, friendships, love interests, whomever. Whatever cycles you're closing out, you're closing it out in love. I now know my purpose. I need to stay laser focused in my purpose. You know, even when you hear about like celebrities and athletes and stuff, whoever's in the entertainment industry, they're like before a game, I need to get locked in and focused. Before a show, I need to get locked in and focused. That's how somebody is training right now. Before I write this book, I need to get locked in and focused. I can't have any bunch of distractions around me, phone ringing off the hook. It's about how you close out cycles. So that's where the communication comes in, right? So again, here's this right here coming across twice. I see you defending while you leaving some things behind without coming across as defensive at all. And that motivation is I have something to look forward to that I've been speaking into existence for years. So I'm going to have to leave some things behind like fear, doubt, low self-esteem, and there's going to be some people attached to it. Narcissist energy, you know, people who bullied you, you're going to have to leave all of that behind. 
So that's what I'm talking about. Let's get ready to close it out. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love it, love it, love it. This is a general reading. Take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. That somebody's ending something, you know, and dancing a new dance. Somebody's definitely ending something, leaving it behind. And again, there could be some, somebody could think that they were harshly judged. That's not the case. It's nothing like knowing what your life purpose is. It makes life so much easier. It makes life so much easier. That's why you have some people who are in the spotlight who you don't hear any drama from their home life. You don't hear about any drama going on around them because they have positioned people around them that know what their vision is. These people also have vision for their lives as well. But when you know what your purpose is in life and you're on that in that vetting process of just building your team, your, your tribe or your soul circle or your soul family around you, they're not there to compete with you. They're there to help you. And so those people you're trying to employ, that's why we see some artists, they, they're employing the dancers, the musicians, the everybody, and everybody looks like, you know, their paycheck is hitting their account on time, right? You can't have people in your, in your life that is so hungry for attention that they're literally competing with your purpose and then get mad at everybody who is right there, you know, right there helping you on your journey. So here we have a liberation. Somebody's going to feel liberated. The doubts and fear still come up. You don't believe anymore that they're you. That's right. Because somebody, some people are going to feel like, oh, I'm scared. You're going to leave. I knew, you know, when you got to a certain point, you were going to leave me behind. No, I found my purpose. There's a difference. There's a difference when you find your purpose. Somebody, you've been working on stuff practically your whole life. You came to this earth with, for, you know, with the purpose. So there's always going to be some people who feel like you left them behind or whatever. But source is saying, stay focused. Laser, laser, laser focused. Stay laser focused. Confidence is your key to success. That's right. Definitely some energies that you're leaving behind and that and definitely will feel some kind of way about you moving on without their energy. But they don't say when people don't see when they don't fit into. That's where humility comes in. If you know that you're competing with somebody's purpose because you're still trying to find your purpose, it's best for you to go, to go ahead and move on out of their life. Just move on out of the way. Sex magic. So somebody will definitely try to put some kind of spell on you. Here we have 38. I draw on my body with an invisible blade carved with the bliss of lustrous teeth. It is the allure that I will meet blood and flesh. Yeah. So somebody will definitely try to use some kind of sex magic on you. And I'm not talking, if you're married to the person, I'm not talking about that person. So don't get caught up in the, is it my spouse? No, it could be somebody you're dating will try to use sex as a tool to to drag you backwards. But if you don't stay in your light, somebody will end up regretting it. Somebody will end up regretting it because you're pushing yourself further away. You're pulling yourself back into the wilderness. And this is what you're moving towards, an enormous amount of wealth. So congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. And some of you all may have been in relationships like that. Like some of you all may have been in like every time I was in my purpose, I met somebody, I started dating and I got thrown off course, right? So even with the people in your life, Capricorn, if you know, and again, I'm talking to you if you have Capricorn anywhere in your birth chart. If you know some some people in your life right now that they're on their course, they've been working hard to get into to stay in that lane and they meet somebody new, just gently remind them, remember you have purpose, like don't let this get you out of sorts because them remembering, I'm telling you, incubus and succubus are very very powerful, especially if there's cracks in your foundation, if you have low self-esteem or, you know, somebody says that you know you feel like you're competing against for Whatever whatever those demons are, source is saying to you, you worked hard for something. So stay stay focused. Stay focused. 
12, 12. There it is. I am focused. There we go. Stay focused on your best possible future, Capricorn, and remain optimistic throughout the entire journey. Your angels are right behind you as you turn your dreams into reality. Turn your dreams into reality. I love it. Let's get ready to close it out. This card jumped out. Okay. Integrity. Yep. Yep. I choose my words wisely. My words are creating my reality. My speech matches my actions. I keep promises to myself. I am consistent. I am punctual. I accept the moment. I resonate with the highest truth. That is what I have for you, Capricorns. Again, congratulations to you all for some kind of, like I said, business deal um, that is true, clear and motivational. It, it's, not, it's not a hoax, right? It's not false. It's not a setup. This is crystal clear to see all of this harmony here. Everything's in perfect harmony, but also I see somebody um, meeting their twin flame. So that is what I have for you. And I will see you all on Freedom Friday. Bye.